What's up everybody, Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique and today we're taking a quick look at Intensity by Zynaptic. This is a plugin that's designed to make things clearer, brighter, and more detailed. And it does that by using a really clever technique by taking some of the practices used by facial recognition algorithms and applying it to sonic characteristics. So what I've done is just dropped it on my master channel for this track. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just bypass it. I'm just using one of these presets. If you come into the factory presets right here in the middle, general purpose mastering, you can see I tweaked a little bit, but I'm just gonna go ahead and run this right now. I'm gonna click the on off button right here in the top left so you can hear the difference. So you can see definitely a lot brighter, definitely a lot cleaner, and the details in that regard are much more noticeable. So I'm going to run through the plugin real quick, and then we're going to play around with it on this track to see what it can do. First of all, we got a dry wet slider right here. You just click and drag up and down. Uh, if you hold down shift, it will go slower. If you control click it, it will go back to the default. And that's the same thing with right clicking with your mouse and PC. It will go back to the default as well. If we want to change or browse through the presets, we can click these arrows to the left or the right. If we want to come in and actually choose a preset from the drop down, you just got to click the preset name here. Now we have the output, and as you can see, it says output saturation or saturate. Now we can adjust that. We can have more or less saturation. And if we want, we can just go to a straight output gain stage. Just by clicking this output menu right here, you can switch between gain staging and just saturation. So that's very cool. Now we also have level compensation. This is like relative gain matching where if you turn it on, even though the effects will be taking place to the music, the output gain should stay relatively the same. So watch what happens here. So you notice that it, when I turned it off, it actually got louder, but when I turned it on, it got quieter, but it still kept the same characteristics. However, this does not include the output saturation and the dry wet mix and the bias control over here. So you will notice output changes if you start tweaking any of these. So mainly it's gonna be a level compensation for the intensity ball over here. So let's go ahead and talk about these two balls. Really cool, they're essentially just up and down sliders. You can see as I'm moving it up and down, you can see that there's a ring out on the outside of the ball that shows me the level. So up here at one, uh, you can actually see as I'm moving it to the, the intensity name changes to a, a value. And if I double click, I can actually input a value here as well. And that's the same for any of these parameters, by the way. And just like the other ones, you can hold down shift to move slowly, uh, control click or right click to get it back to its default. And this is actually quite cool. You can take the outside of the slider too and move it along to change the values. So let's go ahead and tweak this a little bit just to see what it does. <laughs> So this is the intensity and it actually is the main parameter of this plugin. And this is going to boost what the algorithm defines as detail. So it's gonna make things more dense, it's gonna make more thick, more detail oriented. And as you go further into the higher numbers or the higher values, if you've got a lot of already high frequency content inside of your mix, you might start to notice some issues. So be careful with that. Next, we've got this bias curve, and the bias curve is actually controlled by the bias ball over here. And you can see as I'm moving, we can actually see the blue line in there. So anything above zero is going to apply this curve to the intensity. <laughs> So you can look at this as like the amount of intensity applied to this curve. Now, what's really cool is not only can we invert the curve, but we actually have presets in here. So if we wanna do a smooth bell or a presence curve.
you know, we've got quite a few on here. We can do a linear offset. We can cancel everything. And not only that, but we can jump into custom where we can actually make our own curve by clicking and dragging inside of here and doing something like this maybe. <laughs> And we can also invert that curve easily by clicking the invert button. We can also half or times things by two. So if I'm right here with this, go ahead and times two. Now you can see that we can actually, that's pretty cool, right? So boom, boom, boom. <laughs> So that's very, very cool. We can clear it easily right there. And again, we can always jump back to those bias curve presets over here in the menu to get something cool. So that's a quick look at intensity, and I have to say it really does what it says it's gonna do. It really makes things brighter. Like right out of the box, you can tell that it does that. And the fact that you have a bunch of controls over how much and in what frequency positions that boost happens or that attenuation happens is just the next level in terms of this type of plugin. So anyway, that's a quick look at intensity by Zynaptic. It's available now on pluginboutique.com. I'm Joshua Casper. Hope you learned something. We will see you next time. Thank you.